In this video, we're gonna give you a couple quick and easy tips on adjusting the effects that are inside of your lens distortions. So let's get started. We'll open up the project that we've been working on. And just as a recap, we'll import that lens distortion again. Go into the templates. And we're using lens distortion number four. Right off the bat, let's create a new folder. And we'll call it lens distortions. And we'll drag our distortions in here. Okay, now just drag the lens distortion onto your show. We'll slide it over. and then click Collapse Transformations. Now the effects that are inside of your lens distortions are being applied to your footage. We'll click S and scale it down a bit. Click R and we'll rotate it. Okay, looking good. Let's go inside the lens distortion and do some fine tuning. To do that, we'll double click to open it up. Now each template has a number of effects that we handcrafted to help them match the actual lens distortion. And we made it really easy for you to adjust. So we can go up here, maybe we'll add a little bit more blur. Maybe we'll add a tiny bit more radial blur. And maybe we'll scale the distortion amount you know, a tiny bit more. If we go back, as you can see, it's definitely blurring the image and offsetting it a bit. That's what we want. Okay, over here you can see we've got a hard edge going on. So let's mask that. To do that, we'll go inside the lens distortion. We'll go into the light layer. All the effects in the lens distortion reference this layer. So let's mask it. We'll take the pen tool and we'll create a nice little mask. We'll click F for feather. Feather it out a bit. And we'll go back to our show. And as you can see, the hard edge is now feathered out. We'll scale this up a bit. There's a few other effects you can do. You can tint your distortion any color. You can adjust the brightness with curves. Um, I can show you what that looks like. Really makes it pop. We'll undo. You can also flip the image. To do that, we'll go inside the light layer. And then we'll right click and go to transform, flip vertically, or flip horizontally. We'll undo both those because we like the way it's looking right out of the box. Now, as you can see, the lens distortion has a really cool organic flickering effect. We designed it that way. But sometimes you might need more of a static shot. And to do that, just go into the distortion, go into the light layer, right click, and go to time, and then freeze frame. And now the distortion won't move at all. And sometimes that works a little better you know, depending on your shot and how much it moves around. Here it is with the flicker and without the flicker. That's it for basic editing. Thanks for watching, guys.